Hello and welcome to my humble abode um, and I am feeling a little bit like I look like a blueberry in this shirt, um, a little bit like Violet Beauregard from Charlie and the Chocolate Factory and that is no bad thing because it's actually inspired me to bake one of my favourite easy, easy bakes and that is blueberry muffins and I think everyone should have a blueberry muffin recipe and this one is delicious. So I've actually run out of paper cases which is could be a problem but it's not because I also know how to make cases for muffins and it's really easy so I'm going to show you how to do it. So I've got some baking paper or baking parchment and I've cut it into 14 centimetre squares. Um, it doesn't have to be exact, it doesn't have to be an exact square so don't panic, you don't need to get your set squares out um, but it just needs to be roughly 14 centimetres and I've got just a regular cupcake tin and also a glass. What's that for you might be wondering? Well this is going to be the kind of mould for the case and as you can see it fits perfectly in the bottom of my cupcake tin. So I'm using my glass just as a mould, so I'll turn it upside down for this and I'm going to grab one of my squares and just to give me some guidance I'm going to fold it on the diagonal um, just in half on both sides and that's just going to give me some guidelines. These folds don't do anything useful unfortunately, it's not origami, but they are just going to give me a better idea so that all my cases are a bit neater. Uh, so just pop that over the top of your glass with the cross in the middle and then pinch one side and push it away from you, folding, and then the opposite side pinch and pull towards you because you want to make sure that all your folds are going in the same direction, so either clockwise or anti-clockwise. And then turn the glass uh, uh, a quarter, turn, and do the same thing on the other sides. And then once you've got all your folds, just hold it down with your hand, all the folds together, and then just give the bottom of the glass a little pinch, well, the paper on the bottom of the glass. That's going to make a crease that will keep it nice and neat when it sits in the tin. And then, ta-da, you have your little cupcake or muffin case. Done. Right, so that's all my paper case is ready. So I'll just put that to one side because we definitely don't need those just yet because we haven't got any batter yet. But before we get on with making the batter, I'm going to show you how to make a delicious additional bit to go on these muffins and it's the streusel topping. And you don't have to do this uh, if you don't have time or you just don't want to. It's completely optional, but for me, the streusel topping is the transformative bit. And it just gives it a little crunchy, nuggety treat on the top and I love it. So I have 30 grams of melted butter and to that I'm going to add in a bowl 45 grams of plain flour, a quarter teaspoon of cinnamon and that really tips this over the edge flavour wise, yum yum, a little pinch of salt just to bring out the flavours a little bit more and then the most important bit for me and that is two tablespoons of demerara sugar and that's the really nice brown crunchy stuff which will enhance the crunch which is just delish. And all you need to do here is just fold it, mix it about with a fork um, and it will just create nuggets. So just keep on stirring it until you have nice kind of crumbly little nuggets. Um, and that's the reason I do it with a fork is because I feel like it breaks it up a little bit more than a spoon. And when you're happy with your nugget size, that is your streusel topping done. So just pop that to one side because that goes on at the very end. Now, if you've ever made muffins before, you'll know that it's probably the easiest thing in the world to bake. You have your dry ingredients mixed together, you have your wet ingredients mixed together, you have them mixed together together, and then it's done. It's super, super easy, which is why this is one of the best recipes to know. So I'm going to start by mixing my wet ingredients together. So grab a big bowl because that's where all the ingredients will end up at the end. And so I'm going to start with my two large free range eggs. And to those, I'm going to add 320 grams of buttermilk. And if you don't have buttermilk to hand, you can make it yourself. And we did a little Tuesday tips video on that um, a while back. So I'll put a link to that in the description box below. But also, yogurt works pretty well. So does sour cream, even creme fraiche, if you want a little bit 
richer and more exciting. So just pop all that in. And now I also have my oils. And I'm using 70 grams of just regular color, like flavorless oil. I'm using rapeseed oil. And then 70 grams of melted butter. If you want to make these a little bit richer, you can actually do it all butter, but I like a bit of a mixture. And then you just need to give that a whisk to combine it all. So you're not trying to do anything fancy to this. You just want to mix it all together and make, make sure it's really well combined. So it's, you don't need to add any air or anything. So that is done. So I'm going to put that to one side and get on with mixing my dry ingredients together. So I have my plain flour. I'm putting 270 grams of that into a bowl. And to that, I'm going to add 135 grams of caster sugar. Uh, but then just for a little bit more flavour, I'm going to add 65 grams of soft brown sugar. And obviously we haven't done any kind of beating of ingredients, so we do need a raising agent. And I'm using uh, baking powder, one and a half teaspoons of that. And then another optional extra, I'm putting in a zest of about half a lemon. Now you don't have to do this if you don't have any lemons or you just don't want to, that's fine. It's your blueberry muffin. But I think that the flavour of the lemon really brings out the flavour of the blueberries because sometimes blueberries can be a little bit kind of meh. Um, so I think adding a little bit of citrus really helps. That should do it. And obviously, the most important part of a blueberry muffin is the blueberries. Now, you can use fresh blueberries if you want. I'm using fresh blueberries, but I've actually frozen these um, because they are incredibly juicy. <laughs> and when you bake them, sometimes when you bake them not from frozen, they can really explode. So I find freezing them just helps them stick, keep their shape a little bit better. So I've got 150 grams of those. And then just give that a good stir to make sure everything is well combined. Now, some people say that mixing the blueberries with the flour to give them a kind of coating helps to stop them from sinking, but I actually don't feel like they sink at all either way, so um, it doesn't hurt to do this, and you're mixing them all together anyway. So that's all my dry ingredients. Now, if you've ever baked muffins before, you'll know you're dry, it goes in with your wet, and then there is minimal mixing, because if you overmix this batter, you'll end up with tough muffins, and nobody wants that. All right, that's it. I mean, I literally stirred that about five times and it is ready. So now we need to get the batter into the cupcake cases that we made. And these are not quite as neat and tidy as the store-bought stuff. So you do need to be a little bit careful. I would recommend using a slightly small spoon. So in terms of how much you put in, you want your batter to come up to the very edge of your cupcake tin. Um, it might seem like that's crazy because it will overflow, but it won't. And because you've got these lovely high cases, it's going to be great. And that's all my batter in. So now all that remains is to sprinkle the top of them all with my streusel topping. goodness sake, use all of your streusel topping because it is the best stuff ever. And now it is baking time. So these need to be baked at 170 degrees C. I'm using a fan assisted oven. If you aren't using a fan assisted oven, just add 15 degrees to that. And they take a little while to bake. So between 35 and 40 minutes. And because of the wet blueberries, it can be quite difficult to tell when they're baked. So just give them a touch on the top. If they spring back, that's good. Also use a skewer. If it comes out dry, they're ready. Guys, these look and smell delicious. I cannot wait to eat them. So, without further ado, let's peel one of these homemade cases off and see what's going on. Oh, look at that. I mean, it's just so perfect. Let's have a bite. Mmm. Mm-hmm. That's quite a big bite. I'm terribly sorry. Look at that colour and all the juice. Oh, oh, and the lemon is doing exactly as I hoped. It's really lifting everything. And the streusel topping is nice and crunchy. Oh, this is a real treat, guys. You need to make this. It's super simple, but there's nothing wrong with keeping it simple, guys. So make these. 
take a picture, pop it on your Instagram, use the hashtag CupcakeGemma so that I can check out your bakes. I love doing that. In the meantime, don't forget, you can pick up the oven gloves that I was using earlier from my cupcakegemma.com shop. And also, if you don't want to go to the trouble of making your own paper cases, we do sell our Crumbs and Doilies paper cases on that website as well, so check that out. We'll be back next week with another recipe, so I'll see you then. Bye-bye-bye. Bye-bye-bye. <laughs> Bye-bye, blueberry. Mm-hmm.